Squire Tarantella. This is probably one of the first virtuosic pieces that any student plays on cello. The typical form of a Tarantella, minor, major, minor. Here's the middle section, fingering and bowing. Three, we're gonna start in fourth position, F sharp, three. One, three, four, three, one, three. Same fingering, different bowing, off it, opposite. Back to first position, open, one, three, four, fourth position, one, three. Now shift to sixth position. That's the critical. Don't fall into the trap of what most of us do, especially students, and that is trying to get the position without having any sort of anchor. And remember, anchors are movable. They are not fixed. That means these fingers stay down and they help us guide. It's kind of like a measuring device. Very useful, especially when they stay relaxed and slide easily. Here we are in sixth position with a third finger on B. And that means we get to put our second finger right there on A. Now, some people may want to do a harmonic, but you can definitely check to see that you're on target, which means you're going to have to lift your fingers and take away that anchor. But it's a long note, so you might want a vibrato. Here we back to fourth position. One, three, four, three. Now, this is definitely a harmonic. It's even marked in the part. Back to first position, we have a bit of a... He wrote out a broken chord. Most of the composers would have done three notes stacked on top of each other, a uh, dotted half note, but he goes uh, dotted quarter, dotted quarter. But he does one better, and that is he has the D, which is the middle note, written out as a dotted half note, so you know you need to keep that going. Back to, uh, up to second, two on D. Now we repeat the entire section. Well, note for note, it's not quite repeated, but it is repeated in the sense of the character. So we've got now from loud to soft. And here, same notes, but different uh, articulation and rhythm. Remember to keep those fingers down as you shift from fourth to sixth position. So far, all the same notes. Just that one little stretch with different rhythm. Now the next section, just a little heads up. It is very useful to play this in second because you're already, the previous section, you were in second with two on D. Put your first finger on F sharp. Now slide up a whole step to G sharp and you've got third position right there, but immediately go to half. And back to second, same D that you ended the previous section on. I hope that helps. If it does, please like and subscribe. Leave your comments and tell me where you are in your studying of a virtuoso piece, and especially if you're studying this Squire Tarantella.